Going. All right, as y'all tell about the picture tonight, I'm cooking lasagna. I've done this it, I, when I make red sauce. When I when I make pasta sauce, I make a ton of it. Uh, generally, what we don't eat over pasta, I freeze that sauce, which is what this is, and this is now going to be lasagna. That my kids, when they were little, they pronounced exonia. So, say twice in a week, in a week's time, over a week's time, they would get Italian food. They would get pasta and red sauce, and then three or four days later, I'd unfreeze the, red, the rest of the red sauce and make lasagna out of it. And they thought I was the best daddy. It's as easy. Uh, now, the red sauce that I'm talking about, it's got everything you can imagine in it. I, I never have video of it because. There's a million different ways to make red sauce. This is a pound of ricotta cheese that I just put in there. So make your favorite red sauce. You know, give me just a minute. I'm negotiating for a baby grand piano. You don't, okay, this is a pound of uh, ricotta cheese. This is a pound of cottage cheese. Don't start on me. Just try it. It takes away from the sweetness of the red sauce. It's typically, I don't put a lot of sugar in my red sauce. There are way better ways to get rid of acidity than sugar. This is store brand Italian. There's five different kinds of cheese in here. You can imagine the five different kinds of Italian cheese I'm talking about. And Kraft makes this same cheese. This just has to be store brand. That's a half a pound. This is Italian season. This one hadn't been opened yet. Anyway, I'm going to put just enough Italian season in here. You have to come show. I'm going to say a tablespoon. That much Italian season. And y'all, I'm telling you, this is, this is the way to get rid of red sauce. Red sauce doesn't cost that much. If you get hamburger meat on sale, you grind your own like I do. Um, it's, it's not that expensive to make a ton of red sauce and then you know you can you can if you got kids at home man this is the, the way to feed them you can feed them twice for very little money and it's hardy not only can you feed them you can grow them all right that's stirred up Give me a moment. I got two eggs here. You see the number two on the end of them. These are straight out of the chicken. Hang on, here's the piano thing again. Sorry about the interruption, y'all. I really want this piano, but I'm not willing to. Uh, The reason I'm cracking these eggs one at a time is they straight out of the chicken. And every once in a while, if there's a rooster around, you get a surprise. Anyway, no surprises in them. That's two eggs. Now, I really should have, uh, I'm going to have to cut away again. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do when I cut away. This bag of spinach. I'm gonna chop this bag of spinach on this board. Are you? If you got a, uh, if you got a food processor, stick the food processor and pulse it a few times. You don't want to turn it into dust, but you don't want full-size baby spinach leaves either. I'll show you what I want it to look like. It's going into cheese too. I got. I just got a text about my piano. Okay, come come look at this or come come to the board here. That's that's about it. That was an eight-ounce bag of spinach. It was an eight ounce bag. I didn't use all of it. Uh, probably used three quarters of it. It ain't gotta be chopped 
to pieces. And you can use, you can take a 10 ounce box of frozen spinach and wring the water out, a thaw it and wring the water out of it. And that's usually what I do, to be uh, honest. And I went on, while I was cutting the spinach, and while I was chopping it, I went on and cut this. This is a, uh, half a pound, I'm almost positive, this is a half a pound of uh, baby pellets. And the reason I cut them up, because when I made this red sauce, the only uh, mushrooms I had in the house was just a small can of, of the canned mushrooms and this, it doesn't give the same effect. Also, the reason I cut them up off camera is because the lady that cuts my hair says when I sharpen my knife on camera that it's like uh, like uh, uh, breaking your fingers on a chalkboard. Alright, uh, Let me wipe my counters down, get a pan over here, and I'll start putting this together to show you what it looks like. It cooks fast. You'd feed your kids in an hour like this. Let me wipe everything down and get my pan over here. I'll be back. Hey, deal. All right, y'all. Fix it. Start putting it together. I'm going to show you what, I, or what I'm starting with. It's going to fill this pan up if I'm lucky. Um, Come, Miss Girls, get a picture of uh, here. I'll get my Coke out of the picture. That's how much red sauce I'm starting with. Y'all saw the increments on the cheese in the in the photograph this, uh, earlier. I feel like I'm stuttering and stumbling through this, and I've done this a gazillion times. Just a little bit of sauce on about not a whole lot. Enough to, coat, enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Let now this red sauce had uh, whole tomatoes in it. It had uh, bell peppers, onions, green onions, uh, Italian seasoning. As far as I'm concerned, standard stuff for for uh, red sauce. And though I've never done it, I'm sure you could use the canned sauce from uh, the uh, grocery store, available in the grocery store, to do this. I come up with this because I wanted a way to get rid of extra red sauce. Oh, these are, uh, if you didn't see in the video, if you couldn't tell from the photograph at the beginning, this is oven ready. It's a snowball. You ain't got to boil it. And, uh, I was, when I when I was going to, when I started thinking about videoing this, I was going to use my pasta maker, so I tried it before. Thank goodness I tried it before I videoed. Yo, I need to call FEMA. Now it was a disaster. I don't see how people use pasta machines to make fresh pasta. So, and. I would imagine that even an Italian chef, a true Italian chef, would tell you that the uh, prepared noodles are fine for this. Somebody's going to watch this and say, well, he should have made little bitty dollops. Instead of just piling it on like that. It's going to end up like this anyway, y'all. So there you go. Alternate the noodles too. Crisscross. thing that I usually do that I'm not going to do tonight is I usually cook this so I got a wood oven outside and that's usually how I uh, finish this. Uh, not going to tonight. I'm 
cook in the oven. 350 for 45, 50 minutes covered. Then pull a, a tin foil off of it. Cook it about another 15 minutes, so. Yeah, the pasta machine, they make it look easy. It ain't. My kids were little. When I married my wife, she had two kids, and they, they are, they're wonderful kids, especially uh, my stepdaughter. Well, I shouldn't even call my stepdaughter. I claim her as mine. But they were so finicky when I married their mama. You can see through their skin. They, they, they should have been anemic. They, they, they had never had anything to eat, but uh, Happy Meals from McDonald's, a few chicken nuggets, and they, their mama all fed them once a week, so they got real food once a week. They got peas and cornbread. Anyway, they was just, they wouldn't eat leftovers. They wouldn't eat, and they would tell you that I ain't eating that again. That's when I come up with recipes like this. Because I was thinking to myself, I cooked it, you eating it. And like I say, once I started doing it, they thought I was the best daddy. You ready? Uh, this is uh, grated parmesan. It would come with chopped uh, Did you get a picture of what it looks like now? That's just layered. I mean, you know, as a matter of fact, they tell you on the back of the package how to layer it uh, with the uh, on the back of the noodle package. That's eight ounces of Parmesan. Y'all you know, saw the other cheeses that went in. All right, take a picture of this. All right, y'all see that? That's a, that's a pack. He ended up a package and a half of the no baked noodles. Uh, I always run short with one package. Uh, I'm gonna cover that with tin foil. And 45, 50 minutes at 350, and then I'm gonna take the tin foil off of it. You can take tin foil off of it and stick it under the broiler for five minutes, and uh, but I'll probably just leave it in the oven uncovered for another 15 minutes. Take it out of the oven, let it cool some. Even though you got eggs in it to bind it, if you try to cut it when it's that hot, it just falls apart on the plate. That's it. Y'all try it. It gets rid of red sauce. Feed your kids. All right, come look, y'all. That's what it looks like. I'm going to let that cool about 10 or 15 minutes. And then we're going to eat. Try it. Hope y'all enjoy it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Adios.